Hey everybody, welcome back to the Alienware Resurrection. If you remember last time, we we had a bit of trouble with heat. Um, these cases are just awful with airflow, or as far as airflow is concerned. You got one 120 millimeter intake fan in the front, which is pretty nice. You got one in the back, which is also kind of nice, but it doesn't move a great deal of air, especially with these cheap, um, what do I even have in here? I don't know. They're just cheap, like probably Corsair black fans, and they're not moving a lot of air. And on top of that, we have a very hot running uh, GTX 260. It was topping out at like 107 degrees after running in um, Heaven Benchmark for a little bit. So we're gonna crack this open and find out what's wrong with it. Hopefully it's just a, like a, a quick clean of dust and reapply thermal paste and, and it'll be back down to normal temperatures. The other one ran very normal. Um, I think it uh, topped out and it, so, okay. Uh, these are both in SLI, this being the main card the uh, NVIDIA branded one being the um, second card. So this one naturally runs a little bit cooler because your first card does most of the heavy lifting. So the EVGA card was running at like, like I said, like 107 degrees. And the other one I think was topping out at like 67 or 70. And we need to get those to be more <laughs> closer to each other, or at least get the EVGA one not to be 100 plus degrees. That would be a good um, outcome of today. So we'll clean up the uh, 260s and then I'm gonna try replacing, well, I am gonna replace the fans in the case from those, um, I'll grab one. What is even in here? They're all matched, but we'll see what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's just your standard Corsair 120 millimeter, you know, fan, nothing fancy of it. We're going to replace those with some static pressure fans and hopefully we'll be able to move, uh, we'll be able to make the most out of <laughs> this terrible case's airflow. Um, so I think we're going to start by tearing apart the GTX cards, uh, the 260s, clean them up, put new thermal paste on them, and then we'll test them individually on my test bench and see if the temperatures have improved at all. So let's get right to it. Taking apart the offending GTX 260, and I can kind of see why the temperatures were so high, or maybe a contributing factor. Um, it doesn't use any, it doesn't use any thermal pads. It just uses these tiny little grains of, you know, rice size specks of like really crappy feeling thermal paste. So I'm gonna clean this all up, put some quality thermal paste on here. And hopefully, hopefully we won't see 105 degrees anymore. So I finished up cleaning up the cards. Both of them are really pretty clean inside. Um, I didn't show anything on the NVIDIA branded uh, GTX 260 because it, it was really clean in there and it really didn't have a problem before. So now it's just kind of refreshed and we'll give it a go on the test bench. And make sure I didn't screw anything up. I hope I didn't screw anything up. Um, and then we'll throw, you know, we'll, we'll check the EVGA one in there next. And hopefully this one has uh, at least a small amount of improvement. So yeah, let's uh, run it through a few minutes of heaven and get it good and hot and see if anything has improved. Okay, the NVIDIA card. Um, the cooler running of the two cards had been running for about 15 minutes and it only reached up to about 75 degrees uh, peak, uh, currently at 74. So this one's running pretty normally, which is um, not surprising. I didn't think that this one would be um, much of a change at all. Uh, so let's put the hotter card in there. Huh. So that's where that vibration comes from. That's awful. Got the EVGA card in there and uh, right off the bat I can tell, or I can see, that we are idling much lower than when it was in the case. I think it idled at like 50 in the case. So this, 
this could be a good sign or it might just be nothing because like I said we're in the open air test bench so it could just be the fact that there's more open and free air so let's run heaven for 15 minutes well it's actually only been a couple of minutes and we're already up to 80 degrees which isn't good that's uh, that's not what I was expecting to see I'm gonna let it run I'm gonna see what it's gonna top out at and um, it's probably not gonna be the full 15 minutes so I'll see you uh, I don't know shortly here I imagine <laughs> alright so we've been running for about 15 minutes here and we topped out at 87 degrees fans only hitting a max of uh, 79 percent which is better than the 100 percent we saw earlier in the case but um, being in the open air tench test bench um, I was kind of hoping for a lower number here than 87 but it's not awful so it's probably better uh, than it was but not by much so I think what I'm gonna end up doing is and it's a pretty simple solution I think is I'm gonna use the cooler running card as the main card you know the N Nvidia branded one and then the EVGA one will be the second card the SLI card and hopefully it'll keep the temperatures of that one down and it'll probably raise the temperatures a little bit of the cooler running card uh, but it shouldn't be a problem shouldn't and then I went ahead and put those static pressure fans into the case already while these were running their tests so hopefully it's a better environment for these and we can really push this computer um, the way it was meant to be hopefully hopefully we don't get weird artifacts and colors and stuff on the screen as one of the cards slowly dies <laughs> Got both the cars back in there. EVGA on the bottom, uh, NVIDIA branded on the top. And hopefully our temperatures and everything will be better. Let's run a round of heaven. Also, it I think sounds like a jet engine with those, <laughs> with those uh, static pressure fans. But they're moving a lot of air. So, should be good. So we'll run this for 15 minutes and um, check our temperatures. And the side of the case is off. I just want to make sure everything is working right in this computer. And then I'm going to put the case panel back on it and run it for another 15 minutes. So, I'll see you when all that's over with. So it's been about, I don't know, 23 minutes or so. And it looks like we've topped out at 80 degrees and 87 degrees. Um, not really sure which card is the top one versus the bottom one. I'm going to guess that this one is possibly the top one because it's working, you know, harder. Um, utilization, I think these numbers are going to be the same. Oh, maybe not. That, that might be the top one. And this is the bottom one. So the hotter running card that we moved to the bottom. Uh, that's my guess. But either way, it's way cooler than it used to be. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's quit out of there. Man, that thing is loud. But now we can now we can run the rest of the tests. So I mean let's go ahead and start at we'll do 06. So um this computer's all the hardware in it is from like 08. So we'll do 06, 3D Mark Vantage, 2011. So that'll sort of represent, you know, a game's a couple of years before this computer uh, hardware came out. A uh, this will test for games that came out at around the same time uh, as this hardware, and then of course we'll see how it was doing a couple years later in 2011, and we'll run a Heaven benchmark because, well, Heaven's always a good one to run. Well, that was odd. There's a weird strobing effect. What is that from? Do -do. All right, I restarted the computer, hoping that a um, shutting it down and turning it on again would fix these colors issues. Let's see if it did. Well, what the heck? Well, it's doing weird stuff. And all the sort of 2D games, what the heck? Well, I seem to have found the issue. I opened this case up and literally just touched this 
you know, the SLI bridge, and it, it cleared up. Isn't that, uh, isn't that cute? All right, let's do some tests. Turns out I'm not going to be able to run 3D Mark 2011 on account that, oh, uh, the GTX 260s aren't DirectX 11 comp uh, capable. So, there's that. Alright, we'll just run heaven then. Alright, ran the full gambit of tests and we topped out temperature wise on the hottest GPU at 88 degrees. So, uh, 88 degrees and the cooler one at 81 so they're very close now which is um very optimal in my eyes and as far as the case temperature goes um it looks like we topped out the q9550 at 64 degrees things seems to be running great and now we can use it for the stuff that um well young me would have used it for let me close it out so at the time that this machine's hardware came out I really only played one game and it's not going to be much of a mystery as to what the game I played uh, because it's the only one I have installed on here. One of the greatest games ever. <laughs> I played this thing for god hundreds of hours. Had many characters. I don't have any of my save files anymore. Man, I, I wish I did. But um, I didn't play on a computer this capable. I played on a... what was it? What do they call those? Uh, AMD... They call them Athlon XPs. I had like a 2400 Athlon XP single core. What are those things running? Like like 2.4 gigahertz? If that. Um, I didn't get very good... <laughs> I didn't get a good frame rate. It wasn't an enjoyable experience. Until I got my i7 system that I've... Um, I've talked about it a few times on this channel. But let's see how this runs. Oh, let's run Fire Fraps. Let's see how this runs on this type of system. All right, we're back and the keyboard works. So, let's see how Oblivion's running on here. So we're playing this at 1920 or 1080p. Um, it looks like VSync is, is on. Options, video. Can you turn it off through here? No. Alright, look at that. 2,000 FPS in the in the menu. Ah, we're gonna get at least 500 FPS in the game. Well, 95 is respectable. So when this game first came out, if I had a computer that could play this at around 100 frames a second, oh man, I would have put way more hours into it. Anyways, let's go see how these guys are doing. And murder them, because it really doesn't matter how they're doing. Ooh. Made some stuttering for loading. Hey, fellas. Oh, yeah? Do it.
Man, these guys are tougher than I remember. There you go. I'm running you, man. Why you gotta attack me? Red guards for life. Alright. To the victor. The spoils. I don't want any of that. What do you got? What did I pick up? Iron Mace? I don't have enough room to drop this item. Alright, well, before I sit here and play this for the next two hours, I'm gonna go ahead and quit out. So, as you saw, we were getting a pretty good consistent frame rate, uh, definitely above 30. Dropped in. I mean, consistently above 30, but um, usually around 100, but drops, you know, to 50 in more congested areas or when it's loading stuff. But that is just kind of how um, hard drives work, unfortunately, you know, the spinning mechanical ones. But I feel like we have more than resurrected this Alienware. Yeah, I know, I pressed up. Um, it runs cool, it runs pretty reliably. Uh, everything works on it. The case works. Uh, about the only thing, and I think I pointed this out in the other video, that doesn't work is this LED over here. But I just, uh, I don't care. I uh, probably have to remove the whole module and, and find a piece or find a replacement on eBay or something. And I don't feel like that's worth the, the squeeze. Let me zoom back out of here. So. Yeah, I think uh, I'm. I, I would say that the case looks good, but <laughs> this this style has never suited me. Um, it's big, it's bulky. It, it looks like a like a play school sort of toy. Um, my girlfriend said it reminds her of like you'd see this on like in the movie Men in Black or something like that. So um, <laughs> it is. I mean, compared to today's uh, aesthetics, it's it's pretty bad I think <laughs> though we did get it uh, a bit refreshed we put those new fans in it uh, we got real we got I shouldn't say real good but we do have better cooling uh, case airflow let's pull this out of here real quick uh, what can I say it is spec very similar to what it would have been um, in its stock days uh, SATA 500 gigabyte hard drives, Q9550, 8 gigabytes of DDR2, I think is in here. Dual SLI GTX 260s, maybe I can get a hold of a couple of 280s, that would be kind of cool. Um, but like I said, the, these old SLI cards, I mean, like they're really just, it's nostalgic, but they're inefficient as heck. Um, tons of heat, tons of power draw, tons of noise. And really putting a GTX 650 in there would, it's, I mean, it's not cool looking. It's, there's not two of them, but it, it draws way less power, makes way, way less noise, way less heat. And it would um, definitely uh, get higher scores in the benchmarks and play games a bit better. So that's something to think about. But um, I think maybe I'll just leave it. I'll probably just leave it the way it, it is. Um, like I said, maybe if I run into a really good deal on a couple of 280s, we'll put them in there and we'll get even closer to how it's supposed to be. But until that day, I think this is how it's going to sit. And I'm going to play some Oblivion on it and um, go murder and steal from people that don't deserve it. <laughs> so, on that, we're going to leave it. Um, I, had a great, I had a real good time with this one and I hope you did too. So if you did, go ahead and press that like button. And if you're new here, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Um, I do kind of stuff like this um, almost weekly. So on that, I will see you in the next one.